Today I'm going to teach you how to be able to use one of the After Effects presets that I made. This is a lightning preset so you can make either lightning look like it's coming from the sky or make it look like you have force lightning from Star Wars. But first off, this is how you start off the project. You're going to make a new project in After Effects. Then you're going to go File, Import, File, Choose Your Footage. I already have it set. But then you're going to click Open. I click Cancel because I already have my footage imported. So after you import the footage, you're going to drag it down the timeline, down here to the pre to the new composition file. You get that put in there, then you're going to go Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or Control Alt Y, which is the shortcut. Then after you do that, you're going to go over to the Effects and Presets panel. If you don't have this in your window already, easiest way to get it back, Window, Effects and Presets. If it's unchecked, check it, and you'll have it right there. Mine's already checked, so I'm not going to do anything. Then you're going to go over to the search box, type in lightning. Then you're going to have these presets it, after you install them into Adobe which you can figure out how to do by watching another one of my videos that I have on the site for tutorials. You're going to drag one of whichever color and whichever set of the preset you want into the video on the adjustment layer. Then you're going to click the drop down box, drop down box, and then you're going to, for effects, then you're going to click on the one for advanced lightning. Then you're going to click the core drop down box, the globe drop down box, the expert settings drop down box. I'm going to click that, hold shift, click that. And then you're going to make sure those stopwatches are off. Then you're going to click them again. This pretty much refreshes all of your keyframes. So all the keyframes that are already set into the preset go away and you start fresh. But you still have the main keyframe that you're that you've been that, which is this keyframe. Then you're gonna do the same thing with all these. You're gonna click at the bottom, hold shift, click at the top, uncheck that, recheck it. Then you're gonna do that. You have to do this between all those subsections, I guess. Then you're going to go like that. Like that. Or you could also do it this way, which takes a little bit longer. Now, just close all these drop downs. Then you're going to go down to transform opacity you're gonna make it zero percent then wherever you want it to fade in you'll go over to I usually like having it start at one second bring it back up to 100 percent then drag back and start doing your editing with the keyframes just make sure these are all checked like that and now usually the origin is where you want the effect to start off but in this case I usually like use it when I'm working with lightning effects I usually have the origin at the end so right now this is the origin marker this is the directional marker and then you're going to go every couple frames and make an adjustment to the two of those. 
So the easiest way to do that is by hitting page down, which goes up a frame, page up, which goes down or goes back a frame. Then you could also use this, which is the next frame, or and this, which is the back, the last frame. But I prefer using the arrow, the page up and page down keys because they make it a lot quicker. So I'll go, so I'll go like three or four frames. One, two, three. Then I'll move this marker here, this marker here. Go up a few more frames. Go over here. Pretty much, you want to just like balance the two of them out so they're pretty much pointing in the same direction so the lightning is going in the same direction one two three move that but like say something like that where the lightning's not really moving that much with you that's what the conductivity is for so you'll drop the effects back down Go advanced lightning again. Conductivity, you're going to give a keyframe right there. Then go to where the end of the pause is, which will be right here. And I usually like starting off low just to see where I'll get. So I'll do like three. Cycle through, see how there's, even though the two points are static, which means they're not moving. The lightning doesn't appear to be by itself. It still moves, but it still moves because of the conductivity change. Then, when the fingers start moving, you move the points again. So now, see how the lightning is still moving, even though in some spots the points aren't moving. That's the best way to do it. So. Now I'm just going to pause this real quick and show you what it should look like is a finished product. Okay, now this is what it should look like after you work with it a little bit. And then see how it fades out there and fades back in? I'll show you how to do that. So, you'll go back over here, minimize the effects. Now I'll show you where all the opacity changes are. See all these little silver diamonds? These are where I change the opacity over and over. So, Right here, it starts fading out because my hand closed. And then it's all the way faded out here. Easiest way to do that is go to like right where you want it to start fading out. Give it a keyframe of 100. Then where you want it to be all the way faded out, you'll make it 100. I mean, you'll make it go down to zero like right there I'm, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see better so this frame I keyframed it at a hundred this frame I keyframed it at zero because I just wanted it to completely disappear but I wanted it to still fade in so from zero I had it go from zero go down a few frames to 100 where I wanted it to come back in that's how you'll make it that's how you'll do it if you want it to just go all the way out over the course of one frame but say you want it to do something like fade out like that. Hold on a 
ones. See how it fades out like that. All you gotta do there is go back a few frames, make it at 100, just keyframe it at 100, go over the few frames you want it to go to, make it zero, then over the course of frames you want it to stay completely gone, you'll keyframe it, you'll go to, so you'll go to and keyframe it at zero again. So these frames are all at zero. Then you'll go over to the frames you want it to be back to 100, and then it'll fade in. You'll go over, make it 100, and over those frames it'll fade in. So hopefully this video helped. If you didn't and you're still stuck, just send me a message on Facebook. The link's on my website under contact us. You'll be able to find you'll be able to find out more about how you'll be able to find out how to message me, email me, and I'll be able to try to help.